The fourth round of the FIM Supermoto World Championship took place in Pleven, Bulgaria. And moto number one, it was a whole shot for Manu Hermunen on the Husqvarna, closely followed by Davide Gozzini. But uh, Gozzini found a way through into the lead before the end of the first lap. Landon Bosch was in there as well in third position on the Aprilia. And behind him was Giovanni Boussai and Thomas Chirin. And Chirin made this move down the inside of Giovanni Boussai to go fourth. The task for him then was to close down the two riders ahead of him, which he did. First of all, Thierry van den Bosch and then Manu Hermunen. So suddenly it was a two-way battle for second position. Championship leader Davide Gozzini was about four seconds clear at this point. But Thomas Scherer continued to push and it was a mistake there from van den Bosch coming out of the left-hander. And that allowed Thomas Scherer to go down the inside of his fellow Frenchman for third. But then Ravaglia had a big crash whilst in fifth position with about two laps to go. Fortunately for him, he was OK, but the red flag had to come out. So it was a win for Gozzini with Scherer second, Hermunen was third from Van den Bosch. And Christian Ravaglia was actually classified as a finisher because it goes back one lap. The second race, all change on the front row of the grid. Gozzini winning the first moto starts from pole, but once again, Manu Hermunen was our whole shot winner. And he edged out Davide Gozzini in that second position. A lucky escape there for the Italians. He came over the first of the double dippers. And he was coming under pressure from the nearest guy in the championship to him, his rival and teammate, Thomas Scherer. As it stood at this point in the race, Gozzini had an eight-point advantage over his teammate. Christian Ravaglia, back from that crash, had a good ride and would finish in sixth position on the Valenti Suzuki. But the battle for the lead in the championship just suddenly got turned up because going down the inside of his teammate, hard on the brakes, running out of room, Thomas Scherer found a way through, quite literally, on his teammate, who lost two positions in the exchange. And then was coming under pressure from the number 101, Thierry van der Bosch. So we had Manu Hermann and was leading from Thomas Scherer second. Adrian Scherer was now third. And Gozzini was fourth with van der Bosch fifth. But taking his first race win since round one, 2009, in Italy, Manu Hermann taking his and Husqvarna's first win in 2010. Second was Thomas Scherer, third, Adrian Scherer. Third and final moto of the day, Manu Hermann starts from pole yet again, just like he did in race one and two. And he comes away with another hole shot, three out of three for him this weekend. Second was Adrian Scherer, number one, and it was the two TMs of Thomas Scherer and Davide Gozzini with their third and fourth. Thomas Scherer, though, couldn't find a way past his brother Adrian on the Husqvarna, the defending champion from S2. Manu Hermann, though, as these two riders were tripping themselves up, were starting to creep away about four or five seconds ahead of the duelling brothers. Before, Adrian Scherer made the gesture to his brother to move on by and in doing so handed second position in the race and also a share of the championship lead because now with Gozzini in fourth position it was all square at the top of the championship table. The battle for seventh position and sixth position was uh, sealed when uh, Van der Bosch made a smart move around the outside of Giovanni Boussai. But no one rode smarter than this guy all day long, Manu Hermunen on the CH Racing Husqvarna. Having another battle though on the final lap, was Christian Ravaglia and Thierry van den Bosch. This was the battle for fifth and sixth, which uh, Ravaglia held on to. But it was another win and the overall Grand Prix for Hermunen.